be a pussy dead. <laughs> to my youtube channel i have a special guest my father he's going to do a q and a with me though i'm going to be asking him all the questions and he'll just be answering that's okay absolutely okay so our first question is what do you remember about the houses you lived in as a kid and which one did you like the best i was born in indola mm -hmm. as an infant we traveled and moved over to Osaka. Mm -hmm. Our first house in Osaka wasn't as big. Mm -hmm. It was a small house which accommodated nine children. You were nine, nine in a small us. house? A small house and it was all fun nine and I enjoyed nine. every moment. Yeah. I happened to be the last boy. I got Two younger sisters, but when we were in Osaka, I had only one little sister. Mm -hmm. That's my young sister. So in the first house, it was all fun. Although growing up with older brothers and one sister, mm -hmm. and not very intelligent enough in the house, you can imagine the pressure that you go through. So yes, the first house was small, mm -hmm. the second house we moved in was a much bigger house with girls' bedroom, boys' bedroom, mm -hmm. and the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. So that was fun for me because now all the bigger boys had gone to school, so they remained only oh, the you. three of us. Three boys? Three boys. Me, my immediate elder brother, and my elder brother, the one that follows my immediate older brother. So, according to you, the small one was the best one, or the bigger one was the best now, one? No, the bigger one was the best one <laughs> to me. Okay. Because the bigger one had time for myself. Mm. I spoke very little, and most of the people that visited thought I was, I was dumb. I could not speak. Because you never used to talk. Even now and now you don't talk about it. So most of the visitors would say, but no. With the people that I like, I would speak a lot. A lot. Yeah. And you just have to stop me. Like you know I'm I mean? about to stop you. You answered the question, number two. Uh, what did you have as a child that kids don't have nowadays? I think um, being the last boy, I enjoyed uh, the presence of my dad. Mm -hmm. And what do I have? What did I have that kids no, do think. not have now? Mm -hmm. I think it's the respect. respect. Respect for the elders, respect for dad, mm -hmm. respect for mom. Mm -hmm. It's very rare in today's children. Mm -hmm. Anything ever happened at the family wedding that you will never forget? Well, my dad was uh, also on the quiet side. Mm -hmm. He was a very quiet man. But at my sister's wedding, I saw the other part of him, the excitement, the joy, the happiness, mm -hmm. and that I will not forget at the wedding. Okay. Which sister was this one? Um, before my little sisters, we had only one sister in the family. So okay. there's six boys and one girl. Okay. So, four. Think of some relatives that have passed away in the last few years. What would they be doing right now if they were with you? <laughs> I really wonder. Uh, our firstborn son, mm -hmm. I was just another. He was a character growing up, mm -hmm. a character that made my dad very, very worried because he did, he did wild things. Mm -hmm. He's a left. Mm -hmm. The next um, brother who's passed on, that's a third born. Mm -hmm. He too was a, another oh, character, yeah. but him in a different way. Mm -hmm. The first one, it was trouble. Mm -hmm. The second one, it was character. Mm -hmm. 
he was just another uh, but i enjoyed these guys mm -hmm. the first man he was trouble even growing up he just was trouble i didn't even like him so much uh -huh. <laughs> but he's the one that looked after me he, i went to school he was looking after me and he was really tough on me this one the third born he looked after me he was a character mm -hmm. in his own way mm -hmm. but uh, he did quite a lot for me also yeah uh, so number five which family member has been your greatest coach in life how have they coached you and what has made them what has made them good at it what made them good at how they coached you like i said when my elder siblings left home for school uh, three of us remained with my two younger sisters so three boys remained that's me my milky older brother and the other older brother the one that followed the, the guy I followed behind his name can i mention mm -hmm. yeah steve ah him is a great guy uh, like i said earlier that uh, i had difficulties in school mm -hmm. and I almost just gave up school because my dad kept on saying no don't worry i'm retiring and i'll take you home with me so do the hunting he had a lot of guns so he said when you go back home we'll just do hunting and i'll buy a vehicle then you'll be so don't worry much about your troubles in school so this guy heard me and my dad talking about this but he called me aside and said look immediately no no the one that is not the one that follows behind is is fed from me going up mm -hmm. he said you need your education because whatever you do in life it boils down to education mm -hmm. you need to have the education you need you need you will not have the good grades mm -hmm. but you have been had a good education mm -hmm. so my advice to you is get the education retire with dad go hunt because in your hunting you need that education in whatever you do in life you need education and that changed my life okay and so what was your favorite movie or book when you were my age when you were 22 i watched cartoons all the way through i watched cartoons up to now tom and jerry top cat Mm. Uh, many 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 ca uh, cartoons i watched a lot of cartoons mm -hmm. growing up i still enjoy them now what about the book eh uh, when that, you used to read the books you used to read no no <laughs> that time every young man would read a, a book called james hadley chess The name yeah. of the book is James Hadley Chess. All his books were James Hadley Chess, but they had titles. Every book had titles. Oh. They had a, um, a lot of them titles. Mm -hmm. And some African can, um, writers, some Nigerian actor, uh, uh, Issa Achebe, wrote a lot of good books that uh, I read as an African. Mm -hmm. And because of reading these books and enjoying the subject English in school, mm -hmm. I started writing my own stories. on stories i'm sure those who enjoy them will do read them and uh, i've left them to my to the children also yeah, and the children children, children, children absolutely children. so what's the most embarrassing thing your mother or father ever did to you my father was a very cool guy he's he was one guy who would think before he acts oh my mom on the other hand was emotional and proactive you like my mom acts on anything instantly instantly without thinking act and think later after yeah after the digital so she i in so a broomstick so a metal cup metal so, cup yeah <laughs> I, i i saw a lot of things that uh, were embarrassing and at one time I was talking to a young girl and she saw me she wouldn't even want to wait until that girl goes she came straight to me kachana nga mpere kumo yu yu wewe mkachana nga wakupere kumo elo kese kuno na ushe tumulume ndo yu 
Kavi, and that was embarrassing for me. <laughs> they, they literally told the girl that you were seen. Yes, I was, no, she was a girl that I, not I was seen, she but a friend. friend, yes. Oh. And now we're chatting, and she comes straight to the girl. You were. And that was embarrassing. Yes, okay, okay, so our last one is what three adjectives would your grandparents use to describe you? Did you ever meet your grandparents? I met my grandmother. Um, she, uh, my grandmother's husband was called Kapwatuna, and that's the name that she used. Really used to call me. She was such a jovial woman uh, with a lot of uh, drinking habits also. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what did she call me? Mm-hmm. She called me a lot of names but she liked me. I can't even pick on one. But she kept on referring me to her husband. Oh, because you, you, your characteristics resembled you? No, she just liked me and she says, calls me my hus- husband's name. This is your mom's mouth? Yeah, this is my mom's mouth. I never had an opportunity to to meet my dad's dad or my dad's mom. Oh, that's yeah. like, I think who have I met me? Mommy's dad, because I can't remember. So. I yeah, because she was, you were very little when she, he passed away. Grandma, your mom's mom also, you were, I think Misa was a baby when yeah, he passed away. Okay, I wanted that to be the last one, but this will be the last one. Um, what are your best memories of holidays or family gatherings as a child? Um, like uh, apart from the same guy I called, I said the one was my coach. He taught me a lot of things. He he taught me never to drink in my life because he doesn't. Mm-hmm. And um, most of my brothers used to drink. And when all the four brothers are drunk, you can imagine the noise in the house. So it was chaos and all trouble. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those are your, your best memories of holidays. Yeah, just the noise that they make. They make. And that's when you heard the English in the house being spoken. They used to speak English, English. when they were drunk. Drunk. Oh, that's funny. And that's when you say, wow. These guys can speak, and they were very good debaters. And the debates would go overnight until the following morning, just talking, talking, talking. Would you be part of the debate? No, because I was quiet and too small. And you, you were very quiet, Minji. Very, very quiet. Like I said, most of the people swing from hours. I could not talk. I was dumb. But you just used to. You were, as they call today, reserved. Right. I think mine was more than reserved because it was a mixture of embarrassment and discomfort. So when I was in a, among my brothers, mm-hmm. because all of them were geniuses and they would say something. Oh. So when you've got nothing to contribute, the only thing you do is shut up. Don't say anything. Yeah. Okay. So what advice would you like to give to future dads and future moms out there about being a very cool, calm, collected father because I think that's what you are. Every person in life has their own character, mm-hmm. and the, I cannot make you be who I want you to be. Mm-hmm. You are your own person, your own characteristics, with your own interests and wants. Mm-hmm. As a parent, one should identify that and accept that only correct mm-hmm. when you see that they need correction mm-hmm. if they're heading the right direction mm-hmm. give encouragement mm-hmm. if they're doing the right thing I want you to do something that I want you to do mm-hmm. but you have your own goals and drives and, 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 and goals mm-hmm. so I need to give support we need to give support to the children mm-hmm. we need to give help them in whatever they are doing mm-hmm guide them and give them correct view. Okay, now say uh, subscribe to Mamba's channel and like this video. Subscribe to Mamba's channel and <laughs> like this video. Bye, thank you Bye-bye. for watching. Thank you for the opportunity.
I have <laughs> never done this. Thank this is my first time. You're supposed to be thanking me. But Thank you for the opportunity. You're welcome. And it's very difficult to be on the camera. And, very actually. Yeah. So I'm that's proud why. Of you. Let's, let's go food. We are proud of you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye everyone. Bye.